Okay, in this video I'm going to show you quickly how to create a tile map file. Now in the template there's an example of one of these. It consists of three items, a list of characters that represent tiles, dimensions for the tiles and the actual map itself. Okay, so I'm going to add it to this level data folder, my new map, because I don't want it to get mixed up with all the source code files that we've got here, all these. Okay, so I'm going to right click on level data and I'm going to say add new item because it doesn't exist yet and I'm going to scroll down to text file and I'm going to give it a name. Um, level structure I'm going to call it for want of a better name. So I start off with this blank thing. Now this is going to be a simple map. It's just going to have blocks because it's going to be like a maze type thing. Um, and it's going to have floor tiles. But the floor tiles are going to be transparent. I don't want them there. So I'm just actually going to have one character, capital X, to represent um, how many uh, represent wall tiles. But I'm also going to identify where the player starts. I'm going to use a P for that. And I'm going to use... Uh, Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have two different types of enemies, so I'm going to have um, an N and an M to represent those. Okay. I'm going to make my tiles 32 by 32. Right, and now I'm just going to make my tile map. So, if you're doing... Um, let's just load up Calculator. If you've got a widescreen setting you better work out how many tiles you've got. So I've got widescreen is 1280 across, so 1,280 pixels. If I divide that by 32, I'm going to have 40 tiles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 40 dots. Now I'm not going to count them, but I'm going to use the column setting down here. So that's on column 41. So the cursor, which is on a blank character, is on column 41. So there must be 41 characters. So I've just moved to the start of the line, column number says 1, moved to the end of the line, to the very last character, it says column 40. I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to go to the start of that line and it's going to copy and I'm going to paste loads of those lines in. Okay, so I've got um, a tool map. Now, again, I can count how many lines I need by using calculator. So if I go back to calculator, widescreen is 720, divide that by 32 and that gives me 22.5 okay so it don't fit exactly size wise, 40 goes into both of these exactly if you want to do tiles that big, but I'm just messing about with 32 by 32, it doesn't matter so I only want 22 lines so I can see that if I go on that I'm on line 3, so I've got line numbers on so I really don't need that many lines. So let's delete a load. I've probably deleted too many. Doesn't matter. I can recreate them. So I'm going to go 22 I want. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Don't leave a blank line at the bottom. Okay. So I'll leave the cursor like that. Now to create the time up, I'm going to turn insert on. which is a pain on my laptop because I have to mess about with numlock we'll get into it on in a minute right. so in insert mode you can just overwrite characters so I'm going to put my capital X's, it's case sensitive to show where my map tiles are If you get a row that repeats, there's nothing to stop you copying and pasting. Okay, make sure you don't increase your lines too many. Um, let's say I wanted to copy that and put it at the bottom. So that's what I put in. Um, it might be that you end up doing that where you've got a board around the whole lot. And you might say, oh, hang on a minute then, let's replace all of these with that bordered version. If 
I was being clever, I could have done that at the start, but doesn't matter. Okay, and I can just continue. Oops, got caps lock off. Putting in blocks. Right, so I'm going to put a P where I want the player to start, which is going to be there. Uh, I'm going to have enemy N there. So these aren't tiles that are going to show up in the game, but they're marker tiles, which we'll replace in another video. And that's it. That's how you create a tile map.